Hey Dan, it is Tuesday. It is the 22nd, the day after Marshall's 26th birthday and uh, of October. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little update of the roasting space, what, what we've been working on. Um, we now have a new garage door, which is sweet. And um, so what I've done is, I think I've talked about this in the last video, is I've got these walls done framing. And what we did is I was talking with the roasting, um, the venting person up uh, with um, uh, Mill City Roasters up in the cities, uh, which is where I bought my roaster. And Angie, uh, Angie is her name. She's fantastically uh, experienced and educated about this stuff. So she suggested putting in a vapor barrier uh, between the stud wall and the um, between the stud wall and the cinder block wall because the cinder block wall is going to sweat once we get heat and humidity in here. So what I did is I just put um, half inch foam on the back of it and then we'll insulate the middle and then we will cover it in drywall. So that's the master plan. Uh, so we've got that um, got that wall in, and now we just all we have to really do is just shove this one into place, which takes two people. I got that one in by myself, but that one's a little tighter fit. Um, this is where the cooling tray vents, and then the chaff collector will vent up. I'll cut that foam out of that two by two square there, and it'll go out there. Um, there's my venting pieces over there. Uh, I talked to. Um, our HVAC guy today, he's going to come down and drill those holes as soon as we get those walls in place. And we're going to um, cement these pieces into place. So this piece is what will go through the wall. <clears throat> and then on the other side of the wall, it will take a 45 degree downward turn. And then we'll put this bird's on it. Um, so that will, that's those, uh, we're also going to be, um, teeing off of this ductwork and we're going to bring in, we're going to just pop a register out into this room so that we have some heat in here. Um, we'll keep these two doors open as well, but we definitely want to make sure that this space stays. Uh, at least above 50. That's my goal. Um, so he's going to do that um, as well as those. And then he's also going to move this re air, re this cold air return because uh, as you can see, that's all painted orange and I need to get the concrete saw down here and cut that out. So we I just found out a couple of days ago that uh, from the plumber that the permit came back about three months earlier than they expected. So they're ready to go. All I have to do is get this cut and they'll come down and do their thing. So uh, that's good news. I'm gonna rent that, uh, rent that saw and cut this uh, concrete. Uh, I, as you might imagine, um, I have no idea how that's going to go as I've never done it before. Uh, we'll find out. So hopefully it goes well. Um, and then after that, we need to, we're just gonna put um, like a coating on the cement floor just to make it shiny and easily moppable. I mean, it's pretty moppable as is, but we'll make it a little shinier and a little more moppable. Um, and then we need to finish, we need to cover this, insulate this wall, cover it with drywall, cover that with, I mean, that already has drywall on it, but then we'll need to actually finish that drywall because we have to paint it so that it's cleanable. So that's, uh, I guess we got to get on that too. So there's just, yeah, there's a thousand and one little tasks um, and we will get on them as time allows. And hopefully, you know, who knows by Christmas, we could be in here. So that's the update from the Pool 6 Coffee Roasting Roasting Space. Um, and I guess, that's my coffee and I'm sticking to it.